So England have won the Under-17s World Cup after an incredible comeback in the final against Spain. It's been a sensational year for the three Lions youth sides, with the Under-20s also winning their respective tournament earlier in the year, and the Under-17s capped it off by beating Spain 5-2 in the final after going 2-0 down early on. Now the question is, can these young lads develop into Premier League players and will their clubs give them the opportunities to reach the highest level? Manchester City's Phil Foden was the recipient of the Golden Ball Award, which is awarded to the most valuable player of the tournament, and expectations are high when it comes to the future of the Man City midfielder. But let's take a look at some previous Golden Ball winners from the Under-17 World Cup and look at how they fared in their career, starting back in 1999. The 1999 tournament was won by Brazil, but the Golden Ball actually went to the USA's Landon Donovan, who finished the tournament in 4th after losing the 3rd place playoff to Ghana. The forward had recently joined Bayer Leverkusen as he looked to make a name for himself on the European stage. However, Donovan struggled to adapt to life in Germany and returned to the States. He would sign for LA Galaxy in 2005 and the rest is history. The club's record goal scorer, Donovan ended his career with 140 goals for the club in all competitions, as well as having loan spells at Bayern and Everton. Probably the greatest ever American to play the game, Donovan was a real talent, but sadly we never got to see him truly showcase those talents outside of the MLS. In 2001, the winner of the Golden Ball Award was French forward Florence Cinema Pongal. A fantastic name, you'll probably recognise it from a less than spectacular spell at Anfield. After scoring 9 goals and claiming the top goal score award as well as the Under-17 World Cup, Cinema Pongal was snapped up by Liverpool, but immediately loaned back to Le Havre. In 2003, the striker got his break at Anfield and during two and a half seasons with the club, scored just seven goals in all competitions before joining Blackburn on loan. Since then, Cinema Pongal has been all over the world playing football, but never really making any waves other than his two seasons at Recreativo, where his 22 goals in 68 La Liga games earned him a move to Atletico Madrid. Now aged 33, Cinema Pongal has played for Sporting, Zaragoza, Saint Etienne, FC Rostov, Chicago Fire, Lausanne Sport, Dundee United and finally Shanghai Hornbill. The 2003 tournament in Finland saw Brazil beat Spain in the final 1-0, but it was Spain's Cesc Fabregas who won the Golden Ball Award, as well as claiming the Golden Shoe with 5 goals. After his heroics in Finland, Fabregas would join Arsenal in September 2003 due to limited opportunities at Barcelona and would make his debut just over a month later at the age of 16 and 177 days. The midfielder went on to become a first team regular, captain and talisman before returning to Barcelona in 2011. Six trophies at the new Camp would be followed up with a return to England, joining Chelsea where he slipped the Premier League twice and the League Cup to go alongside his World Cup and European Championship. A great journey from being the standout player at the Under-17 World Cup 14 years ago. In 2005, Brazilian midfielder Anderson was the star in Peru, beating Giovanni dos Santos to the Golden Ball Award, despite the Mexican ending up as the tournament winner after beating Brazil 3-0 in the final. Anderson was still playing for Gremio in Brazil during the time of the tournament, but he would head to Europe in January 2006, signed for Porto for 7 million euros at the age of 17. His performances in Portugal earned him a move to Manchester United, the most successful era of his career that was littered with trophies, but came to a sour end once Sir Alex Ferguson left the club. Now aged 29, Anderson is back playing in Brazil on loan at Curitiba, having signed for parent club Internacional in 2015. The 2007 Golden Ball winner was Tony Cruz, who was probably the most successful Golden Ball winner ever, just ahead of Cesc Fabregas. Just weeks after returning from the Under-17 World Cup in South Korea, Cruz made his Bayern Munich debut after rising through the club's youth system and then would continue his development with a loan spell at Bayer Leverkusen. The midfielder was a first team regular at the Allianz once he returned from his loan spell, adding two more Bundesliga titles and the Champions League plus various other accolades to his list of honours. Cruz was part of Germany's World Cup win in 2014 before heading at Real Madrid that summer where he's gone on to become one of the best central midfielders around right now, winning a La Liga title and two more Champions Leagues. It's fair to say there's not a lot of space in his trophy cabinet. Nigeria are the most successful country in the history of this competition and they actually hosted it in 2009 where Sani Emmanuel won the golden ball, although Nigeria was sadly beaten in the final, losing to Switzerland. Striker Sani Emmanuel reportedly had trials with both Chelsea and Tottenham following his performance at the Under-17 World Cup, but was actually signed by Lazio in 2011. Emmanuel would never actually make a first team appearance for Lazio, instead joining Salernitana on a co-ownership basis where he made just one appearance. 
The forward then went on loan to Swiss side BLBN where he scored 5 times in 10 league outings but is now without a club at the age of 24 after being released by Beitar Jerusalem and failing on trial at SK Sarajevo. The 2011 Golden Ball winner was Mexico's Julio Gomez and unlike the majority of these players actually won the Under-17 World Cup with his country. However, since then it's been loan spell after loan spell for Gomez, touring Mexico temporarily while still actually being a Pachuca player. Now age 23, Gomez is onto his sixth throne spell away from his parent club, currently at Zacatepec, which I've probably said wrong, and is yet to play outside of his native Mexico. Christ, even the Under-17 World Cup back in 2011 was in Mexico. In 2013, we saw a future Premier League player win the Golden Ball Award, Kelechi Iheanacho. The Nigerian striker was a wanted man after his performances, but signed for Manchester City in January 2014, making his debut for the club in August 2015 a late substitute appearance in a 2-0 victory over Watford. Ian Atchell became an impact sub for City, often scoring off the bench, finding the net 21 times in 64 appearances in all competitions for the club, before signing for Leicester this summer for a massive £25 million, where sadly he's yet to really make an impact, but at just 21 years old, it's not time to worry just yet. The 2015 Golden Ball winner was also a Nigerian called Kalechi, Kalechi Nwakali who was signed by Arsenal after his performances at the youth tournament when Nigeria won it for a record fifth time. The midfielder has already been loaned out away from the Emirates, spending last season at Maastricht in the second tier of Dutch football, whilst this season he's gone up one more step, playing in the Eredivisie for VVV Venlo. Aged just 19, Noah Carley will be excited to return to Arsenal, where he'll be praying he's afforded the opportunities under Arsene Wenger that so many other youth products have been. And that brings us to the 2017 Golden Ball winner, Manchester City's Phil Foden. Rian Brewster may have scored all the goals, but Foden was the star attraction for England, scoring twice in the final as they beat Spain 5-2. The midfielder has been on the fringes of the Man City team, spending pre-season with the first team, with Pep Guardiola revealing that Foden would have made his debut for the club in the League Cup last week had it not been for his involvement in the Under-17 World Cup. It's going to be a crucial few years for Foden and Manchester City, who have a real star on their hands, so it's up to them to help Foden go as far as he can in the game. It's either that or we just hype him to the moon and send him to the World Cup next year in Russia. It works for Theo Walcott. So those are the past 10 winners of the Under-17 World Cup Golden Ball and what they're doing now. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.